Back on the ride, 950 Lounge Live, Saturday morning. Big shout to Todd Wartman and all his efforts. He's doing a lot of things, man. Again, sometimes you have to lay it all out there in order for people to um, mm -hmm. know what you're doing. Because again, if you, you know, if you don't lay it out there and if, and if you're going against organizations or trying to partner with organizations that are, are huge and, and, and massive, it, it, you need to really um, well have a game plan. Like Puffy said, he say he he won't sleep till he die till he's dead. Well, um, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> any event, <laughs> I'm saying <laughs> you want to quote Puff. Um, but any event, we um we have our uh, um a guest from Cali. We tried to get him on last week, week but mm -hmm. now we have to get a Nally Baton. We'll be calling in. We paid the minutes. phone bill. Now you 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 was a VIP fan, Ed. I remember yeah. you saying yeah. Yeah, I used to like watching. It was I, a very good show. I used to like watching. I used to like did watching you, did, um, the women in there. Did, I'm yeah. sure. It was and just, now it was, was, yeah. was a kick ass. So, yeah. you know, I was going to ask you. Just watch it for the for the storyline. You watch it for the. You know what? When that show came on, it was. It was a good storyline. Mm. It was a good show. Because, I mean, back then, they had a lot of shows that was really good back then. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, you had some pretty women on mm -hmm. it. And then, you know, it was, it was really good. I liked it. Mm -hmm. Is that when you just look at the TV shows they have nowadays, it's just... Yeah. 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 It's like, yeah. But there ain't really no real TV shows on. Because half the shows now are, are reality shows. And, you know... Well, see, the funny thing is I find myself now watching more of... Shows on the net on um on the internet and everything else now since Netflix of, and all no that. not even Netflix it's like they got other shows that's out there on the internet like how our show is out there and other things mm -hmm. like oh, that. Web, I watch a lot web, of web, you watch a lot of web well, shows like web. TV has changed it's not yeah. you don't run home to watch a uh, eight o'clock TV show anymore TV has changed now you, you just it's the Jetsons you you turn on and watch it when you want to watch but there it. are some shows that still follow the TV format that you still got to watch them at a certain time but they're all on demand no not really. No, no, what not, show you I know? Still love no, so, no, there's a lot. So you can, but you can Order. watch Law and Order when you want. Well, yeah, because Law and Order come on eight, eight no, but channels. I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about a couple of web shows that's out that does not have that type okay. of situation. That's why. Oh, I, I think we're ready. Um, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we this is third time's a charm, <laughs> but we made it work. Um, all the way from L.A., bright and early. You might know her from some TV shows. She might have kicked your butt in the fitness class if you took it in New York or LA. But ladies and gentlemen, she's here today. Ladies, welcome to 950 Lounge, Miss Natalie Ritano. What's going on, Nat? I, I, I know it's been, we, we've been um, trying to get this to happen and I'm happy we got you on. So what's going on? What's, how, how, first of all, I gotta ask, cause it's starting to get a little chill in the air here in New York. How's the weather in LA? Oh, like a 70 degrees, huh? <laughs> you know what? You get real soft real quick. <laughs> I hear you. I can imagine. Well, good morning, Natalie. And we we happy to have you. I know last week, you know, um, we didn't pay our phone bill and um, the technical difficulties. We still glad that you came back. Yeah, Nelson, our <laughs> engineer, got a muffin today for making sure this this all worked. But um, let's get into it. You know, you you have a, a really, uh, I would say, you've had a great career and you're still doing what you're doing and and, and have done some amazing things. Um, yeah, you did the fitness. 
Oh, no doubt, no doubt. You know that I've been stalking you for years, so obviously I must be doing something. You've been doing something right. But you're in the fitness, I, I call it a celebrity fitness world. But, you know, and, and, I'm, and when we talk, you've always had a, a conscious thought on health. But talk about just um, the training efforts you do, the things you put up. I mean, I follow you now with my weight loss, with like the, the way you eat and different things of that nature. Talk that real quick before we get into your career about the fitness stuff that you do that I think really have changed lives. And, with, you know, you're, you're making an example to people to, to be healthy. I think health is the only thing that we have that we can have control over. So it's one of the things that we have, you know, a handle on our actions. Of, uh, you know, I, I think that you know that my dad just had been tough with Yes. Yes. You know, and he's worked, he's worked out his whole life. And that's just supposed to show you that if you, you know, don't watch what you intake, that's going to affect your life. At the age one years old, that is. But um, I think it's just like, this is my answer to this when anybody asks me. Right. It's just like brushing your teeth. It is something you have to do. Definitely, you definitely. Know, you, can not, you can walk around and see the obesity and the sickness that people are walking around with, but you have to, you have to be healthy. It's like brushing your teeth. Without question, without question, and, and obviously I know growing up um, as an Italian descent, and the holidays are coming. And yeah. Those opportunities for that really good food. I, Italian food was, is my. Yeah, it's I love it was Italian hard food. for her to stay stay in fit <laughs> in, a, in an Italian house. Some sausages, man. Woo. Well, you know, I like food. I love eating. I love drinking wine, and I actually watch my weight. I've never been somebody who could just like let it all go. You know. There's some people, you know, you have those friends that no matter what they eat, their body will stay the same. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not me. And it's probably one of the reasons why I am, you know, fitness is a big part of my life. Because I, I don't feel good being overweight, you know? Yeah. I don't feel good, like, not looking at the best that I can. And I, I do struggle with this, especially being my age, you know, you really, your body... Ah, now you're like 25 years old, stop it. <laughs> That's, let, let Natalie talk. Go ahead, Natalie, keep talking. I need you over there. Definitely. It's just, it makes a big difference to do it every day. I just put a post out today that said, moving is my medication. There you go. Because not only does... Fitness helps you look good. It really helps you stay in a good mental place. It's not that I'm against medication when there's a very severe mental illness happening, but a lot of times, you know, when we get down and out, <coughs> like, you know what? Have you jumped on a treadmill lately? Yeah. Have you taken sugar from your diet lately? Have you cut down on the alcohol lately? Like, all those things change the brain chemistry. You must have been talking to me. Several months ago, <laughs> yeah. you was in my head. We're talking to Nally Rotondo again, with celebrity fitness trainer and, and actress. And a lot of my guests over the last couple of weeks, I know we've been trying to get this in. We had an issue with the studio a few weeks ago, and the last week, technical difficulty. But a lot of our audience knows you from the VIP show. Um, uh, Sean Baker, Pam Anderson, that, that whole group. Um, talk about that time. Um, and again, that show is almost, I think, like 18 years old, but it, it's still, you know, it, it's still, people still talk about it. Mm -hmm. It's insane. It's like, I can't believe when people are like, what? And I, you know, and I'm like, no. And then they're like, are you down there? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> if you know my full name, then I'm going to give you the, this moment. But... Um, but Great Time is, you know, one of, it's, a, it's a monumental moment in my journey. Right. We had, the time, I was still very into fitness. My friends were pissed at me. I was like a real, a major party girl. Like, I had my crew, they're still my crew now, and they'd be like, don't, don't put your trainer on in the morning. <laughs> You know, and I'm still do. I still have my friendship with my trainer from that time in my life too. Thanks to Dion Jackson, he trained me. He trained Al Pacino. He yeah, as I said, I know who that is. Celebrity trainer. Yeah, yeah, really big in the game. 
Um, but it was just a great moment in time, you know. I got to do things, travel all over. Um, I, you know, there were just so many endless experiences that formed parts of my life. It doesn't define me. Right. It's a great part of my journey. Yeah, because Nikki Franco was the one that was, you know, had the gun. She would just, ca she would just cap you in a minute. You, you'd have been really good in New York, cause they, you know, you just, they just starts capping. Yeah. Hmm. My alter ego. <laughs> <laughs> I've never an actor, okay? So it's like you go in on my first budget and get that job. That girl's a part of me. I hear you. I hear hmm. you. I, I remember one, one time. This was back when I was like. Up wild, and I didn't give it to care about anything. Right? Um, we were at a rap party for the first season. Mm -hmm. And this, there was a guy that we didn't, he wasn't even there. He was like the club promoter that he was somebody I've known for years and did not like. I like most people. But Do you want to say his name? Um, <laughs> he didn't know him. Like, he was just like for the. Test us. I think it's a big deal, but he's, first of all, to his credit, he's an amazing singer. His name is CK. Okay. And, um, we never, he and his sister, they, they should be superstars. That's how good the voices were. Right. Um, but he was like a club guy. Just, he, was, he was a jerk. So he was at our party for um, and this is like all the executive producers from Sony and everybody is are there. So he and I start to get uh, have an argument. And um, as of course about ten years then, we used to drink Myers this back in the day, the M and I five him. So he I think he called me a bitch or something. And oh. Uh, <laughs> I threw a drink on him. Okay. That hit everybody. <laughs> like the executive producers, their wives and you know, important people are tell me, and then all of a sudden, everybody stops, and they go, oh, well, that's why we hired her. She's the perfect part for this for Nikki Brenner. <laughs> <laughs> when, 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 she, when she said that he called her a bitch, the only word I thought about was unity. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, you've been watching too much Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> unity. <laughs> Who are you calling her? She's about to get some backlash right now. <laughs> Yeah, get that Western PA come out of you, huh? Yeah. Who are you calling the bitch? You and I, T.Y. like my Italian pepper. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Now, I, I did, you know, in preparing for this, I've done some, a little bit of research. Didn't know you was a part of a music group um, as a young girl. Yeah. Talk about that aspect. I never knew you. I didn't know you had the singing gene in you, Nat. Well, listen. I would call myself the Galvin of Jersey. <laughs> not that that like, summer guy's album would kill me, you know, and he did that down in the but you know, he's never really liked me. Right. Yeah. And, um, and I, uh, was in a girl's group for years. We were, we were trying to get it together. I'm still best friends with one of the girls that was in that group with me. Mm. A couple of them, like, if they go, you know, different girls go in and out. But it was like a, you know, Brightly and Vogue was a very big and once like uh, the, the, the 709, like those kind of girl groups. And we were a multiracial group and we, you know, you know, boys and men at one point were one of our, uh, we're going to sign them. Wow. At one mm. point. Yeah. Oh. I mean, we worked with them um, and we worked in uh, with a group called Noontime in Atlanta. Uh, you know, we... We we got pretty far. What what caused us not to go far was you know just like any other girl group. There's one in there that messed up the whole thing. <laughs> what did you do, Natalie? <laughs> what? What did you do? <laughs> it's one girl. I mean, I felt like you know have the fun one, and I really didn't you know have any you know and you know it's always the one that's like. You don't have anything, but you're going to fight people on contract. Right. Like you're like, okay, well, this is our opportunity here. We'll figure it out once we get out there. Right. And it was always that. Was it. Anyway, we, it didn't work out. And then I ended up getting DIT, and they kicked me out. They're like, you're never going to be. There was one girl, we're friends now. Mm -hmm. one by the She's like, you're green. You're never an actress. You're not going to be an actress. It was like, uh, 
three months later, I'm like, on how Star doing covers of magazines. So it's like, you know, never let anybody put a bad seed in your head. Yeah. Never put your journey in. You know what, I always say that I think our haters are our biggest fans because they watch what we do. So I always say I hate somebody that hates on you is your biggest fan. Yes, they are. Yes. Mm -hmm. They are they're creeping and they're and you know, you have to protect yourself. That's where your spirit comes in and has to stay strong because you know, it, when people wish you bad with energy, you know, you can't let that up your club. Without yeah. question. I didn't that <laughs> Again, we're talking to Nally Batano. Um, you mentioned your father, and I know um, you was back home for his surgery. I, I want to just, you know, um, uh, ask, and I, I keep you in my prayers, and keep him in my prayers. How is your father doing? Uh, he's doing so much better. Great. He's, he's healed from the surgery. He's doing better. He's doing better. He's doing better. Um, he's got diabetes too, so they've got to be on top of those numbers for his kidneys. Right. right. And um, he's doing much better. He's, he, he's like walking around and he's alive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, right. Without question. It's really a crazy experience to go through your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is it. Life is that for now. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, my, my family club, and I'm my dad, and I really love. Right. So I, it, was, it was a lot. I agree. I'm so grateful. Every, every, every day I'm grateful. So number one thing on my gratitude list every day is thank you for letting my dad look through that. Amen right. to that. No okay. Amen to that. Let's um flip it. Talk to, talk about the fitness. Now everybody gets into fitness for you know, whatever reason. What really got you into becoming a you know, uh, fit fitness coach or fitness guru? What got you into this field? Well, I've always been in the fitness because of my dad. Mm -hmm. Like, my brother is not in the fitness. My brother's overweight. Yeah, we, you never believe that we look like we're related. It's just that you know, my father <laughs> always worked out. And I remember, like, being a little baby, like, I can't really know what he would do this now, but he was a runner. And he would bring me to the high school track and put me in the, put me in the sandbox and run around it. And I was running it great. I ran my first 10 k it was great. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I would say that's what got me into it. What, what made me switch my career from acting to fitness was when I didn't really want to do acting anymore, I would ask myself, like, what are the things that you're good at outside of this? You know, what is my passion? What do I love to do? And, um, and I... I always loved doing fitness, and I segue into full time. Mm -hmm. And even in another transition now, changing from a company that I worked for for ten years and moving into more of my own kind of like self, instead of building somebody else's brand, building my own brand. Right. It's mm -hmm. interesting, man. Well, mm -hmm. Natalie, you you have a you know again you do it all you've acted you know obviously you do the training you know you're doing that and and you've also now have ventured into the the okay. talk area yourself for me you ventured now into the talk radio talk media um you know I've, you got a show on youtube or you you had that yourself so talk about that a little okay. bit okay so um you know one of the things that i am experiencing now is Am I aging? You know? Yes. Thank you. I do feel like I'm not like your normal 52 year old. However, <laughs> you and Rodeo have a lot in common. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I said you and Rodeo have a lot in common. <laughs> Just say thank you, Natalie. That's all. Just say thank you. <laughs> we're thank you. We're wiser. We're, you know, we've been around the block. But, um, so. My, I've always been like a girl's girl, like supporting women, uplifting women, because we just have it tough, you know? Right. Sometimes it's just rough being a woman. Mm. And um, the nice talking of that, one of my favorite things to do is hang out with my girlfriends, drink wine, and chop it up. Funny enough, I have so many friends who don't drink. So <laughs> right. Uh, like, oh, my best friends don't drink. Most, a lot of the guys I date have dated don't drink. 
so weird. I'll be up to definitely one. Um, so I decided to do a little talk show called Night Coffee with Snap, where me and one of my girlfriends talking about whatever, you know, especially like at this stage. So what we're experiencing, how it feels fading, how you feel physically, how you feel mentally, experiencing life in the bottle. Right. So that's what got me started doing that. And we're going to segue that into kind of like a round table in 2019 called Lasagna Night. Because lasagna is my favorite food to cook. And I'm kind of like, ah, lasagna. <laughs> lasagna night, seat night. So we're going to have like a few women, uh, you know, kind of like, um, not, the red, not like the red table. It, it's going to be like a red table, but it's, it's going to be different subjects. Like the first one I'm going to have is going to be like, you know, women my age. The second one's going to be women making a difference, uh, like overcoming adversity. I have a girl that I interviewed last uh, two months ago who uh, started a, a, a teen bully busters gym because she was bullied. She was left to die after eight girls beat her up. Wow. And she started a gym. This is one of the most incredible girls. But because she's young, she's in her early 30s. And she started a gym, and, it, and it, she teaches women self-defense, and she teaches kids how to build a self-esteem that are getting bullied. So it's like, I'm going to be doing different little subjects like that. So I do have a gift to gab. Like, I love people. And you do. I I, yes. Of, I have a lot of friends, you know? And I'm like the person that you, that, like, I'll experience something with somebody and it'll last forever, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. No doubt. I haven't met before. No doubt. You mm -hmm. definitely bring... You definitely bring an energy, even, you know, just how we, we connect and how we've been communicating. You definitely bring an energy yeah. to that. Um, we got a few minutes left. And again, I know it's late early on the West Coast and you got a lot of things to do it in. So, I, and I, again, you know, try, try three. I really appreciate it. Um, before we get you out of here, give me the next. I mean, you've, you've acted. You've, you've, you're have you trainer, superstar trainer. You've done shows. What's the next layer finale? Where, where do you see the game going for you? Um, in the next three to five years, what's on the plate for Supernat? What's on the plate for me is building my own empire, my own brand, my own wellness, fitness, lifestyle mm. brand, helping women or anybody, but mostly women aging, going through that change, that menopausal change. What do you do? How do you work out? What do you eat? Those things, um, and how do you keep your head on straight? Right. So that's going to be my Now River Channel Fitness. My website is up. There's going to be a blog there. Um, I'm Give us the site real quick. Give us the site. What's the site address? NatalieRitanoFitness.com. Very it's easily easy done. Easy. <laughs> Very easily. And then I'm going to have a. I'm going to have, um, and that's the same thing for my Instagram now. Right. So I'm just kind of building, I'm navigating that and coming into my own. And it's just different because I help people build their big brands for years. Right. You so, know? And now it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's like, it's literally taking a loop of faith. Because I'm like, who's going to listen to me? Like, I'm who am I? You know, there's too many people doing it. And but it's, it's just like, you have to be focused on what you have and take all that stuff and it needs, it needs to be filled by it. You just like the, um, people like you and Rodeo Jose say the Nest T plunge. Um, <laughs> Why listen, you keep I'm emphasizing? Joking. It's good. It's all good. It's good. You, you're live. Yeah. Like Natalie said, you're live. Yeah. Listen, Jeez. I'm gonna be on. I can tell you, I'm gonna be on the West Coast. Um, top of the year. I, I want to tell. I'm gonna come take your class. I, I think I'm ready for it you're now. Done. Kill him, Natalie. <laughs> I don't know if I want to film it, but um. <laughs> yeah, Natalie. Yeah, film it. Film it. We need to see this but, footage. Uh, I, I, I'm definitely gonna come take it. Don't you worry. I, I'm, uh, yeah, I'll be out there. I think I think it's the first weekend of the year, right after the new year. But I, I'll uh, definitely give you the dates as I get closer. Listen, one more time, making people reach out to your um your Instagram, your website. One more time, get that again. Natalie 
contact me, DM me with any questions. I'm really good about getting back to you unless you're asking at me out one day, which happens, and I don't obviously don't answer those. <laughs> <laughs> If it has to do with fitness and wellness and or cooking, lifestyle, reach out. I'd love to help. Nally, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. You've been a great sport hanging in for us the last couple of weeks to get this done. Thank you again. Yes, yes. Right. I look forward to uh, sweating and kicking your butt. <laughs> yeah, and, and remember, we, we record it because we need this footage. Only if you promise to make me lasagna after you kick my butt. Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. But, you know, not for nothing, I've seen you, you're taking those pounds off. You're putting the time in. Showing. Thank you, honey. I mean, like I said, um, uh, a smart man once said, fear is a great motivator. <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm, I'm just pushing and, and grinding every day, and um, it's become a lifestyle for me. So it's, I can't even, I cannot go to the gym in the morning. I feel funny if I don't go. Exactly. I know what you mean. Without question. Yeah. Thank you so much, hon. Have a great one. I'll be in touch. And happy Thanksgiving Thank coming up. Thank you. <laughs> you got it. Thanks, Thanks again. Nally Matano. Uh